empty it out. And one more time, big inhale. Breath travels down as you breathe in. And then we flip the direction of the breath. It comes up as we exhale out through the mouth. Beautiful, bring the palms together at your heart. Bring your head toward your heart, your chin towards your chest. Now with the eyes closed, set a little intention here, something that's gonna help you feel your best. You can maybe uh, complete the sentence, I choose, fill in the blank, and start to breathe deep as you feel this deep stretch in the back of the neck and the traps, the upper back body. Lower body is nice and heavy. Excellent. If you've landed on something, go ahead and repeat it. Consider it already done. Imagine it already so as you quietly repeat your intention. And just trust that whatever came up, it's the right thing. Okay, and then slowly let's release. We'll bring the head back up, head over heart, heart over pelvis. If you're not in a cross-legged seat, you can still do this next little ditty. Just catch up with us when you need to or go ahead and transition now. All right, left hand's gonna reach all the way up towards the sky. And then exhale, bring it all the way down. Inhale, right fingertips reach all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, bring it all the way down. Now both arms, fingertips are gonna go behind the ears as you reach all the way up. Big breath in, stretching through all four sides of the torso, the front, the back, side to side, reach, reach, reach. And then on your exhale, you're gonna send your right hand to your left knee for a twist, seated twist here. Breathing down into the belly. Again, that directional breath as you breathe in. And then think of the breath coming up and out through the nose as you exhale. Inhale to lift and lengthen, grow a little bit taller in the spine. Exhale to twist just a little deeper. Maybe send your gaze gently past your left shoulder. And for one more cycle of breath here, just notice where you might be gripping or holding in the toes or in the jaw or in your hands and see if you can soften. Relax any tension. Yeah, and then we'll come all the way back to center, head over heart over pelvis. Now this time with the right arm, we're sinking up the breath to the movement and the movement to the breath. Inhale as you reach it up. Exhale as you bring it down with control. Inhale as you reach it up. Catch something. Exhale as you bring it down with control. Now both arms, fingertips are going to go behind the ears. Engage it through your core, your center. Draw the navel in and up as you reach the fingertips all the way up towards the sky. Big breath, big stretch. And then exhale, nice easy twist to your right. So left hand comes to the right knee, right fingertips behind. And we wanna try to maintain that head over heart here. So if you're collapsing back here, let's see if we can work in time to bring the head over the heart, heart over the center. And if you feel like that's impossible, you might sit up on a blanket or a towel. Lift the hips up. Okay, we're breathing here. Keep the chest lifting. Notice where you might be gripping or holding. See if you can soften with every exhale and sit up a little taller with every inhale. Again, find that directional breath as you breathe down. Belly expands. Relax the shoulders as you breathe out. Great, take one more cycle of breath here. Then together we'll inhale in, sit up nice and tall, and exhale, come all the way back to center. Awesome, we're gonna take our fingertips forward and continue this forward mo uh, motion, <laughs> motion all the way to all fours. So find your table top position. Try to be metic meticulous right away. We're centering the shoulders, so you're stacking the bones, knees right underneath the hip points, so not too wide, not too narrow. And spread your fingers super wide like starfish. Your bones rotate out externally away from your chest, and the elbow creases shine forward. Then press firmly into the tops of the feet here. Inhale in, exhale, claw through the fingertips. Start to hug the lower ribs up and in here. Again, still pressing into the tops of the feet. Beautiful. The neck is nice and long. Gaze is straight down. So we have the 
this nice, engaged, active tabletop position. We're going to put it to the test by curling the toes under, inhaling in, and exhaling, lifting your knees, letting them hover. Then start to feel your low belly turn on, upper arm bones still rotating out. We're breathing here. We're starting to find that shake, that prana, that sensation that reminds us of when we are alive and well. We're here for three, two, knees kiss the earth. Drop the belly, open the chest, cow pose, breathe in, soften your gaze or close your eyes, really feel what's going on in the spine today, spinal column, and then here we go, exhale, chin to chest, same thing, really paying attention to the sensation. Nice and strong. Inhale in. As you exhale, hovering table, lift the knees. Hug the low ribs in. Breathe deep here. Keep the neck nice and long. You're pressing away from the yoga mat, feeling this hollowing through the upper back body and this hollowing through the abdominal wall. You're here for three. Find a softness in the jaw. Two. And on one, release. This time, we're going to bring the big toes together. Knees as wide as your mat. Inhale to drop the belly. Exhale, take it to the right, round through, come through extended child's pose, side out a little bit here, ah. and then keep the circle going as you take it to the left, and now come all the way forward once again. Now keep it going here, this beautiful circle, opening up through the hips, the legs, the side body, the shoulder girl.
slowly come all the way back up. Great. Awesome. Walk the knees underneath you. You're going to cross one ankle over the other. Mindfully, you can use your palms to come all the way back through center and back to your nice, comfortable spread your toes, little yogi toes. Actively, I'm not going to get into too much detail here, but just a little bit to help you activate this extended leg. Pull your right thigh bone, that right femur in. So just like we do a lot in our lunges, pull that right hip crease back. Keep that active and engaged as you inhale, both fingertips reach behind the ears, big breath, big stretch, exhale as you take it over, belly toward the top of your right thigh. If it doesn't come close, no worries, it's just that intention of kind of working towards something and not shying away. So breathe deep here wherever you are. In time, you might work to get that head to knee pose that this shape is named after. Option is to take the fold and bring it more into the left low back by sending your left hand over towards your right ankle. And then just so you get a little boost, a little energy, go ahead and soften your head, let your the weight of your head relax. And take a couple solid breaths here. Notice where your thoughts go. Typically, when we kind of know what a shape looks like, we've seen it on the magazine cover or whatever. We let just let that go. <laughs> it ain't worth it. Let it go. Focus on the sensation. Take this precious time for you and enjoy it. You're awesome. You're doing the work. Body's gonna be smiling after this. All right, one more breath. Feel free to bend your right knee as generous as you need. Be kind to that left hamstring. Slowly release. Nice, easy twist here as we take the right hand to the left knee. Just gentle twist to the left. All right, inhale, lift the chest. Breathe into your belly. And then exhale, release. Awesome. Okay, we're going to do the same little ditty on the other side, and then we're going to close it out. You're doing great. Right heel comes in towards the center. Go ahead and extend the left leg up long. If your leg's so tight, you're not alone here, that you're already kind of starting with a super bend. Embrace it, keep it, love it, it's all good. All right, so part of looking and feeling your best is kind of re rewiring our thoughts and our language around how we work with our bodies and how we see ourselves. So just be kind, here we go. Plugging that left femur in, shifting gears so we can find that active leg. And when you're ready, inhale, left fi uh, both fingertips behind the ears, sorry, as you reach up. And then think up and over as we reach toward the left foot and then feel free to experiment here right like you're not stuck this isn't a photo shoot so breathe into your belly see how this side is different from the other side notice when you get frustrated experiment eventually taking time to relax the weight of the head over and this is it we're almost done so listen to the sound of your breath. Let it soothe you. Let your time spent on the mat fray any worry nerves or worries. Just stare at your mat. Use your breath. And then when you're ready, we will release. 
together. We're going to start with hands on the ankles here just so you can really drop, drop down through, uh, again, the femur, the thigh bone. And then in time, you can maybe take hands to the toes. You can use your thumbs to massage the arches. If you've never done that before, give it a go. See what happens. Okay, and then inhale, lifting up from the pelvic floor, finding this length from crown to tail once again, bringing that loving awareness to the spine. Take a big inhale in, and then exhale. Try to keep that length, so we're not going to round. You're going to keep that length as you bend your elbows, and you're going to send your gaze to look kind of in an imaginary pond. Just try to see your reflection. And I always joke, it's a bad joke, but it's always like that moment in Zoolander when he's like looking in the puddle and asking, who am I? So give yourself that image. It's going to keep the, the spine nice and long, but also just kind of reflect back to you, remind you, even if it's in the silliest of ways that, you know, this time is for you to, to be with yourself, to check in with yourself, take care of yourself. All right, maybe send your heart a little bit forward, a little more forward for this last breath. slowly release, bring it up, all right, send your hands behind you, bring your feet to the earth, you're just going to windshield wipe up, oh yeah, I should feel good after that, the knees to one side and then the other, take a couple cleansing breaths here, just a couple final I love you breaths as you windshield wiper the knees one way. Thanks for sharing your time and your energy with me.